What is the output of this code? Please pause the video and try. Now I'm gonna show you the result. And you may wonder what this wouldn't be the output, okay? I will explain you why this happened, but after the intro. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. So today we will going to discuss why the order of the log is like this, like why it's like start, then end, then promise one, then promise two, then set timeout one, then set timeout two. So this is little tricky, but it's simple. The answer is lies behind how the browser works. So you may have heard about the event loop. So event loop is how browser render the stuff, how browser treat the JavaScript code. So how the single threaded not blocking language JavaScript and how it works. So event loop is behind that. So you can say I am using node here, but it, it will not be different in the Chrome because node is using the same engine as Chrome that is V8. So the all the thing will be remain same there also. So as the JavaScript is single threaded, so event loop is trying to handle the task in a pretty intelligent way, pretty pretty good good way. So what uh, the it's doing, it's prioritizing the task. So here, the, this console log start and console log end is in the main thread, means main process. Everything is on a single thread, but this task, the set timeout and set timeout one and set timeout two, Although it's in a zero second, it's printed in the last because set timeout and promises are the different task than the main task. Main task means which will be on the main thread. So this will task will be go to the task queue. So there are two task queue. One is task queue, one is micro task queue. So if you say the priority will be priority, the highest priority is the main task. Then the second highest priority will be the micro task queue and third priority will be the task queue. So what's happened here? So this start and end are in the main thread. So it's went to the call stack and executed bus. But this set timeout and set timeout and promises has been pushed to the queues and then executed. So one thing you can ask that, okay, this the set timeout and promises are not in the task, but why the promise promise printed first than the set timeout because as I explained that is the, the priority basis micro task and the task queue. So, so when you execute with some promise that will become considered the micro task so that is little higher priority to your task queue. So I will write it here. So as it in the micro task queue so the event loop or the browser or the node will try to execute these two promises first so that the promise one and promise two get printed first then the set timeout one and set timeout two. So that's the reason even if we are giving set timeout of zero millisecond still it's get printed in the last because the priority of the task queue is least in these three cases okay. So this kind of questions are coming in the interview and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of guys are doing the mistake in promises and set timeout because a lot of guys don't know about micro task queue. So that's the reason. So they are just writing set timeout one, set timeout two and promise one, promise two, which is wrong. So I thought it will be good if I make a video. It's not a big concept. It's just a simple concept and I will make an in-depth video in event loop, I will explain all the things. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified when I will post a video. So that's it for today. Today we saw how the event loop will work in a basic level and the priority for the browser will be main, then micro task queue, then the task queue. Hit the like button if you like it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the bell icon and please give some valuable comment 
suggestion in the comment section below share this video among your friend this may help someone to clear the interview we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye